the thorough analysis of the origin of species lesson 6 then can a pig evolve into a man the kernel of the evolution theory is not man has evolved from the monkey but is organisms vary people of the medieval ages believe that species are immutable absolutely if any person make the evolution a subject of a discussion he was branded as a heresy but charles darwin's the evolution theory was a masterpiece which had changed such a way of thinking why do organisms vary in those days of charles darwin naturalists could not elucidate the principle of natural selection scientifically because fundamental sciences were situated at the level of natural history but currently the evolution phenomena are explained clearly by modern science especially genetics the structure and the function of a protein consisting of organisms are determined by the order of DNA sequence in gene. Enjoying a bath in the sea, we apply sun cream to our skin in order to prevent the ultraviolet light from penetrating into the skin. It's because the penetration of ultraviolet into the skin may give rise to a skin cancer during the process of cell cleavage. In case ultraviolet light penetrates to the skin to disturb the nucleotide strand in the earlier step of DNA duplication the changed cell can grow in our body. Sun cream has a function to observe UV and to prevent ultraviolet from arriving at the deep skin. The work of a Nobel laureate in 2015 is to disclose the mechanism that DNA sequence injured by UV or others is remedied and restored by enzyme. Summing up their paper is as follows. Swedish scientist Thomas Lindahl first found out the fact that DNA sequence is changeable in the process of DNA replication and there is a system to select and remedy the injured genetic code. American scientist Paul Modrich confirmed enzyme plays a role to choice and restore the injured genetic code. And Turkish Aziz Sanchar elucidated the, the mechanism to restore the damaged DNA sequence. Swedish Academy announced that their achievements are enough to receive the Nobel Prize because the results are available for a clear grasp of the aging and for developing an anti-cancer medicine. By the way, the key to a question is the fact that the activity of enzyme is not 100% efficacious and a part of the damaged genetic code is delivered to the descendants as it is. Millions of these biochemical events happen to the daughter cells of a human body a day. If Wearing new woolen clothes for one day, several pieces of threads weaving them will be broken. 
being clear that woolen clothes underwent a change. Several snapshots of threads do not bring on a change to its external form. An intrinsic attribute of woolen clothes does not change. It keeps its normality as your clothes, but wear a suit of clothes for one year. Its form and concept as your covering will be disappeared. It is no longer clothes. They say a man consists of six trillion cells. If six millions of the biological events happen a day in a body, it is a millionth of all cells. Most of the damaged cells are remedied by enzyme and the rest of them is delivered and accumulated in the body of descendants. Because the number of the rest is negligible, the structure of a human body does not change and keeps its original form at an early stage. But if the accumulation continues during the geological time or generations, it may bring a change on the form and the structure of a human being. Nobody knows how much time it requires. The evolution mechanism of Charles Darwin is just like this. His concept is the accumulation of gene mutations. Though the change of several DNA coders affected by ultraviolet does not bring a modification of the very next generation. The accumulation of the gene change for the geological time can generate the deformation of organism. This is the fundamental concept of the evolution which modern science explains. See you in the next. Shalom.